All right guys, so this is my first time ever trying the Modus brand protein. Um, they sent this to me. Uh, basically, what they wanted to break down was that it was a higher quality protein sources as opposed to the typical rice protein and pea protein that you would normally see in a vegan protein powder. So what they use instead of the rice protein and the uh, pea protein is they use pumpkin seed protein, they use a potato protein isolate, and they also use a cranberry protein. The serving size is 58.63 grams, which is approximately two scoops. There's 20 servings in here. Each serving contains three and a half grams of fat, one and a half grams of saturated fat, 11 grams of carbs, nine grams of fiber, and 30 grams of protein. Um, the sodium levels are 22, 220 milligrams of sodium per serving, which is, eh, you know, that's, that's about normal. Um, they also add in uh, four grams of leucine. They also throw in some MCT as well, which is where you're gonna get those fatty acids in there. They also have uh, alanine, lysine, threonine, uh, proline, and tyrosine. It's sweetened with stevia leaf extract as well. Um, all in all, I think the flavor is actually really good. Has some good textures, um, nice and, and, and thick, right? Because I, as you guys saw, I use the uh, cashew milk. So I'll go between the two, cashew milk and almond milk. I find the cashew milk is actually a little bit thicker, so which is something that I enjoy, especially in my smoothies. Yeah, that flavor is legit. So the one thing that I can say is a negative about the product is that it's extremely expensive. I looked on their website and I believe it's like $70 for a jug. So that's gonna pretty much turn some people off from, from I believe, purchasing it. Again, if you're debating between what's you know higher quality and not higher quality, then you know that's going to be up to the consumer, you guys, uh, on which particular product you guys choose. But here's another protein option once again for vegan proteins. Um, it's not something that I use all the time, but I do like to include them in my smoothies, as you've seen in the past. So. Yes, so I'm going to finish my smoothie up real quick and then I'm going to hit a quick workout with Brian here a little later.
All right, my friends, since training and cardio are now complete, finally got home. The first thing I did as soon as I got back was juiced. Uh, I actually did 16 ounces of celery. I juiced a full cucumber as well, along with one lemon and about three ounces or three inches of ginger. I added a little bit more ginger because the last time I made it, it wasn't enough. I liked it. I like for it to be a little spicy. A couple things I also added to the juice were these tinctures. So I have one here. This is a lymph tonic tincture. And then I have one here that's a green tea tincture. I like to add those to the juices. And then what I'll do here is with my smoothie, this is CBD oil, so I'll do, this is 1,000 milligrams. I'll do one full dropper of this. Really, really good stuff. It's especially important for like post-workout. I'm surprised that most, a lot of these companies haven't gotten on board with CBD and added and some created some sort of post-workout formula. But I love to add those to my smoothies and that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So first up we have these frozen bananas. So I'm gonna add two frozen bananas. Then I've got two ripe bananas. And then I'm gonna throw in some cashew milk. And since we have this modus protein, we're gonna go ahead and use that again. So I'm gonna do one serving, which is gonna be 60 grams. It's about two scoops. Before I get it going, I almost forgot one squeeze of the CBD oil. And there we have it, guys. This beautiful smoothie. This is about looking at about like over 60 some ounces, so this is a really big smoothie. The the protein is good. Like I'm not gonna lie, the flavor is definitely definitely on point. It kind of reminds me of the Guard of Life chocolate protein. Um, very similar in flavor. So I'll give them that. And like I said, they're, they're, the, the quality of the ingredients in there is probably much higher than you know the typical plant-based protein. So you guys will have the link to their website down below. You guys see, I think the price is a little high. Like I mentioned before, $70. But if you guys want to try it, go ahead and give it a try. Like I said, you'll at least know that there's, it tastes good. It tastes good. But I'm going to drink this and we'll be back for the next meal. A few moments later. Okay, so we went to go watch the movie Halloween, and it was um, it was pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of head smashing, just a lot of death involved, and uh, it's not really my thing to watch these sort of movies. But I was convinced by my friend Brian. Uh, but I'll take it for what it was. It, it was it was great. It was good. It was good. I gotta admit. So before I left, I had some grapes. I think it was roughly 540 grams is what I measured it out to be. Um, I'll make sure to write the macros and the calories on the screen for you guys so you guys are keeping up with the meals. And then as well as the smoothie, I had three bananas. I used uh, the rest of the cashew milk that I had left over, which was about roughly one cup, and I added a little bit more water. Um, one tablespoon of flaxseed, and then an additional 200 grams of blueberries. Um, yeah, I've been really obsessed with this smoothie right now. It just tastes really, really good. But yes, so that makes uh that was meal number three for the day and then now i just got home got some food cooking in the kitchen I'll show you guys what's going on now all right so we have some sliced plantains being cooked on the stove what we do is lightly coat it with a little bit of some uh like oil spray and then we let the steaming do the cooking and then we have some puerto rican style beans uh, or also known as habichuelas in spanish um what are we throwing there mom potatoes sazon adobo ground pepper garlic garlic sofrito adobo you said adobo adobo tomato sauce and a little bit of tomato sauce just a little bit all right and then we pair this up with some white rice this is uh this is the key right here the white rice is the perfect marriage when it comes to the arroz es arroz con habichuelas y plátano frito so this will be the next meal coming up soon I promise you guys I will make a specific video just for showing you guys how to cook the beans. They, man, when you make these, I promise you guys, you will absolutely love it. They are super clutch. Okay guys, so we have dinner ready and served. 
I have 10 ounces of rice steamed underneath. We have a quarter of an avocado, which is roughly 24 grams, what I measured it. And then we have a uh, half a cup of the beans and then a few of the potatoes and 100 grams of cooked plantains. Um, the plantains smell so, so sweet. The beans are just, man, super aromatic just because of all the, the seasonings and spices that we add to it. But what I'm going to do is just kind of slice these bad boys up. That way they're easier to eat. And then kind of get a little bit of a uh, everything in one bite at least i'm gonna try to you see that steam popping up right there man oh my goodness let me get a little bit of avocado with this next bite with some potatoes as well i'm trying to get all in one that's it that's it right there it's absolutely perfect guys this is like a staple dish that we eat as Puerto Rican people eat this all the time. Okay, guys, so I am finishing off today's macros with. This right here, these are some roasted edamame, um, spicy wasabi flavor. So, for some reason, I was just really feeling wasabi, so I went ahead and got these. Um, they're, I, the whole pack has about 440 calories. Each serving has 13 grams of protein. There's three and a half servings. And then I've also added in this kombucha right here. Um, this is a watermelon wonder by Synergy. Um, there's 70 calories in that. 18 grams of carbs total, no fat, no protein. Um, so this leaves you with my total macros for the day. 41 grams of fat, 637 grams of carbs, and 179 grams of protein. I typically don't have my protein that high, but given the fact that I did include those smoothies because I was just addicted to them, they were freaking amazing. And I personally love smoothies. They digest very well. And like I said, they just taste really good. These banana smoothies are really off the chain. If you don't make them, you definitely gotta start adding them to your like your just your daily nutrition because they're cheap. Bananas are really super duper cheap, um, and like I said, they taste absolutely amazing. You get a good protein like Garden of Life. The one that I have, Modus uh, Nutrition, is also a good flavor, a good good tasting protein. That pretty much tops off today's food. So I wanted to mention uh, to finish off this video is just talking about you know my feedback for the show and. Um, you know, and what I, what I want to do moving forward. Um, you know, I kind of thought about this and I've decided that I will no longer be competing again in bodybuilding. Um, just the cost of all of it just outweighs any of the pros that you might have. A lot of things that bodybuilders don't talk about is just like just the emotional aspect of all of this and how it truly takes away from life. And, you know, because no matter what, you know, it truly is a sacrifice. It really is. And, you know, with Anne being here, she was here to support me. But, you know, like I just, the way I function, man, I just happen to just get in the zone. And, you know, it's, it starts to like truly consume me, even though I'm like busy doing other things. And, you know, I'm making sure that I'm also, you know, spending time with her and giving her attention and whatnot. But, you know, it just, it takes your focus away. And then when you add the supplements, the drugs to it, um, it truly just compounds things. You know, it's not like I was doing anything crazy. Um, you know, the amount of stuff that I used for this prep was far less than anything I've ever, ever, ever done in the past. Uh, I really, you know, that was one of the, just the one thing that I wanted to make sure was that I did not do anything crazy this time. I just kept things within a certain limit because I honestly, I couldn't push anything to begin with. I wanted to make sure that I dropped weight and I got down to you know, the weight class that I got down to, which was heavyweight. So I couldn't push anything. Um, but with that being said, you know, just, just doing it in general, like it's just not something that I'm fond over. Um, I don't really care to do it uh, anymore. You know, I just kind of, you know, I, I, I went through this to basically just kind of prove that, listen, man, we can be at the highest level of bodybuilding and still, you know, follow a vegan diet, you know, and, and just know that we do not need to sacrifice these animals in order to, for us to have these, you know, physiques that are capable of winning at the highest level, you know. Um, so that was kind of just a point that I wanted to make, and I'm, 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 I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I proved it. Um, but at this point, I just want to be my healthiest.
best version and um and that's what we're going to do moving forward and i want to continue to provide you guys with some great content and i am my best me when i'm not doing that kind of stuff um so i want to continue to just like i said bring the best version of myself to my channel and and to making the best videos that i possibly can giving you guys this good energy that good love loving um you know vibe and and just all that but yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did Please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now along with the notification bell. That way you guys are notified every single time that I release a video on this channel. And until next time, everybody, it's Jonathan Irizarry. Peace out.